we touch base with Tobago this morning and we are talking to Glendora Lashley, the Lilly Foundation for Human Development. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, Bruno. How are you doing this morning and happy International Women's Day. Thank you very much. Happy International Women's Day to you too. We're good. All right, great. So the Lilly Foundation for Human Development, could you inform us a little bit about what this is exactly? Okay, well, it's a registered NGO based in Tobago here. We deal with community development and youth development. Part of our mandate is also combating violence against women and girls. And we have been doing this for the past 10 years or so, um, unofficially, officially from 2009. We're run by a board of directors. We have loads of fantastic volunteers here in Tobago including on set with me, Onika Henry. She is a sex educator, theater artist, and one of the keynote speakers at our upcoming conference on Saturday. Oh, wow. Welcome, Onika Henry. How are you doing? Hi. Good morning. Thank you. So what, uh, what area will you be speaking to at this particular conference? Um, so I don't want to reveal too much, um, but... I'll be focusing on my experiences in life, um, my choice of career path, which is a little bit unusual, and especially for a conservative space like Trinidad and Tobago. Um, so looking at my, at my youth, how I grew up, the challenges I had, and using my experiences as a way to inspire others mm -hmm. to go forward and to achieve their dreams. Okay. And uh, just to get back, Ms. Lashley, this is Press for Progress. That's the name of the event, correct? Correct. It is named after the 2018 team, which is in fact Press for Progress. So we've labeled our conference and our activities for this year Press for Progress. Um, it's an act team in the Tobago space. We need to be able to advance the development of women and girls on the island. Of course, it does not mean segregating or not including boys and men. So we're taking a holistic approach towards our um, our conference and our activities, we are bringing in, well, we already have our main feature speaker here, that is Dr. Jerry Dyson of the U.S., and she was brought to us uh, courtesy the Department of State of the U.S. We also have, we're also going to be having Dr. Hedy Fry. She is the longest serving Canadian MP. She's Trinidadian born and a historic woman at that, I think she defeated a sitting prime minister in the Canadian Parliament. She has brought us courtesy the Canadian High Commission in Port of Spain. We're also going to have the British Consul in Trinidad and Tobago, that's Lisa Hernandez. And we have another Tobago young woman, powerful woman, Ayanna Phillips-Stewart. She will also be a keynote speaker at the conference. Now you've been involved in this particular industry for quite some time in terms of empowering women and also you would have, I'm sure, reflected on the progress that we've made. Uh, based on your research and even your observation, have we really made significant strides? Yes, I, I think so. It may appear to be slow, but we are seeing where, it, when I was a younger child, women were mostly in the home. Now, nothing is wrong with that, but you're seeing now the option where women got up and decided to go into the workplace. In some homes, that was unheard of. We're also seeing women holding key managerial portfolios. We're seeing women deciding to be housewives, when in the past it wasn't necessarily a decision that one could make. So I think we have made some strides. Of course, there's a whole lot of work to be doing, and we are doing our part in Tobago together with Odika and other people. With me know about. Now, Odika, your particular uh, area, you will be talking a little bit also. You mentioned that your career choice was, was something important. Um, you said it's, it's not really a popular one that you made. But I'd like to talk about the impact that you, your life, your past, would have had on your choices. And how important is it? So my background um, is actually working in HIV and AIDS prevention and education. So it was during that period of time that I became interested in human sexual behavior, in the choices we make concerning our, our sexuality and how that has affected our health. Um, so I will also be looking at how women and girls can be very vulnerable in this area and how do we empower women and girls to make better decisions when it comes to their sexuality. And sexuality is a very broad field. 
Um, it does not only involve what happens in your bedroom. We're talking about your attitudes, your beliefs, um, your relationships, your gender roles. How do you negotiate to live a life that is actually healthy when it comes to, to sexuality and sexual health? And what I want to mention as well is that um, the Ladies Foundation choice to involve men and boys is very, very key. Um, they are part of the solution. They are they're half of the society. Um, so it makes no sense to empower women and girls, um, to teach them to be different, to uh, interact differently with the world, and they go back out in that space where the men have no clue yeah. um, that women have made certain advances, that they are thinking differently, that they're behaving differently, and therefore we also have to step our game up and, and meet them at least half the way. That's so a great um, point. critical and key yeah. is working with men and boys and involving them in this press for progress. Yeah, this press for progress, as you rightly highlighted, it's not just about women, but importantly enough, it's, it's also about men because of the role that they play as well in all of this. Ms. Lashley, what are your closing comments? Also remind us when and where is the conference? Okay, well, our conference, press for, press for Progress, it's on Saturday, and it will be held at the Ann Mitchell Gift Auditorium of the Scarborough Library. Unfortunately, it's not a walk-in conference. We are filled to capacity already. We did our registration and we have filled our quota so everybody who is asking to come out you know i'm sorry <laughs> unfortunately we can't take any more if you do know somebody who was confirmed and they can't make it then maybe you can make a swap with that person but we can't take any more let me just say quickly as well that we're doing activities starting from today so we're going to have a community session at the signal hill youth development center this morning that will feature Onika Henry here and Dr. Jerry Dyson, also of the U.S., who is also a medical doctor focusing on sexual health with teenagers. We are also going to have Fayan Lyons, our international recording artist here in Trinidad and Tobago. She will be in Tobago today with us doing some school visits together with Dr. Dyson and Onika. So, and tomorrow we're also going to have some more school visits and some media engagements. Uh, what a pleasure chatting with you both. Best of luck with this initiative. All right, so we've been chatting with Glendora Lashley and Odika Henry about the conference, Press for Progress, where we, they will be focusing on sexuality and gender roles, among many other topics.